What's up, folks? Adam with the Ackleberry. Today, uh, I tried to go out doing some turkey hunting this morning, and that was just abysmal. I don't think there was a turkey within a quarter mile in my whole radius of area stuff, but I have to tell you a story about that here in a minute. Uh, it had to do with me giving up my spot just because I was young, but I'm pretty sure you know where that's going. But anyway, so I'm gonna go out here and try to do some fishing, <coughs> and hopefully the fishing is gonna be better. I've been out here several times, even in this last week or two, and I haven't even got a bite. So I'm hoping that today is gonna to be a better day. But the way I look at it is you gotta show up. You can't catch fish if you don't show up. So we're showing up. Let's see what happens. I got the old Ascend H12 uh, loading the back of my truck. Of course, obviously I have a small pickup truck since it's four door, a little Dodge Dakota, but I thought it was pretty neat that I picked up this little, uh, what they call like a bed extender. And I know the ones like you can get at Harbor Freight and stuff, but they don't have these sides. So I got this on Amazon. It has the sides that keep the boat from rocking back and forth. So I thought that was pretty darn slick right there. It makes a big difference. Since that's a 12 footer, you know, naturally it would hung off a uh, considerable distance. But with that bed extender, it literally just works out uh, perfectly. Easy to put in, easy to take out. As long as somebody don't steal it, right? Got the old, got the old H12 in the water. I've had the H12 in the water a lot probably more times than even the D10 that I own also and stuff and so but so far we haven't put any fish in the D10 no not the D10 I haven't put any fish in the H12 so that's our goal today is get a fish at least on the H12's record so it's time to get started pretty windy today but you know what it's, I've come to learn that if I get picky about which day to come out uh, I just won't be able to come out at all so we're on the water and stuff and we just got out here and everything but and what's with all the snottiness? I mean, it's disgusting. That crap underneath. I'm gonna roll right across it. Ugh. It's like who barfed in here? It's like littered with. Now, look, I just got slowed down in. I'm stuck in some kind of a Nickelodeon nastiness. Like, you can't do that on television or whatever. I better get to paddling so I can get out of this crap. Found a spot that. We're gonna work on anyway, and um, so we're just going to try to drop anchor. Oh, got my hands in some of the muck. Look at this stuff. It's black. It's like the mud for us. Hey, what? She's um, she's not shallow. <laughs> These strip pits, they're not shallow. They're pretty deep. I don't know how many feet deep. I guess somewhere between 10 and 15, but that's deep enough for me. So I guess like the bass is hiding, you know, deep in the water or something like that, because I haven't had any luck finding getting them. We're gonna try, I guess, go a little deeper. Maybe let our stuff drop down a bit or two, I think, and avoid the snot. As as a rule, or the one of the goals is to avoid the snot. And once you get blown in, you try to paddle out of it. It's all of your paddles. It's nasty. There's a big old snake. All right, so obviously I'm back at home and that's uh, partly because, no, fully because uh, when I was out there, number one, it was extremely windy and uh, the sun was nice and high in the sky. And uh, within about 45 minutes time, I'm getting cooked. I mean, I'm getting baked, and uh, I'm already getting like that farmer's like tan, and the wife's like, you need to start going out there with your shirt off, because I guess it looks like completely two different colors and stuff, and anyways, uh, that's partly my fault, because I didn't really put uh, any of the um, sunscreen and stuff on, but anyway, so I called the quits, I was out there about an hour and stuff, and not a single bite, uh, so my day started off with turkey hunting, uh, I got up at like four o'clock in the morning, and uh, was ready and out there at my spot by five. It was like pitch black. And uh, before daybreak, I kind of walked out to, to my, uh, my, my hunting spot that I had scoped out yesterday evening. And real nice spot. I mean, it was like a, it was a big field uh, surrounded by two other fields. And uh, there was about a group of like a, like a, look a, little, like a little island of like 10 or 15 trees, real nice. I thought at first it was like a pond in the middle of this field because there's several out there. But when I came upon it yesterday, it was real nice and and uh, just had, had had like a 360 view uh, in all directions. And I'm, I'm pretty novice, but you know, to me, I'm thinking, 
uh, you know, doesn't get any better than this. You see him coming, if they're coming, you see him coming from any direction. So I figured it was a great place. So I snuck out and I was like, I need to get out there before everybody else gets out there. Because if I think this is a great place, so does not uh, the other 99% of the people that live uh, in the city that I'm at. So I sneak out there, I get out there first in this parking spot, <clears throat> this parking lot. And, couple trucks drive by and stuff and I'm like okay good you know they realize I'm here at this one so they're probably going on down the road to the next one and so I I go ahead and walk out there and I, I uh, it's, it's not a real far walk but it's probably farther than most people would go and uh, so I walk out there and I, I get all situated first of all my my pop-up blind is janky it doesn't even pop up it's just limp I don't know if the spring's still in it, kind of wore out. I don't know how old it is, but uh, whereas it used to just go boom, it just said, it just laid over. And I was like, what is the deal with this guy? So it didn't work. <laughs> and I carried all the whole thing out there. And uh, so anyways, I'm in my spot and I'm, I'm just fixing it. I get set down and everything where I think, you know, it's a good spot and everything. And I hear this cracking, crackling behind me at the other end of this little um, circle island of trees and stuff. And I look back and there's a, there's a dude walking in there just, quiet as can be. Well, first of all, it's kind of eerie because the place isn't really that big and it's pitch black and you always, you know, uh, your mind plays tricks on you like somebody's going to come kill you. They don't care about any other hunters, they just come to kill you or something. I don't know. Uh, you guys know that I'm trying to um, branch out a little bit. I've never really done much hunting and stuff and, and I, I, I suck at hunting and I suck at fishing and all that stuff. I didn't get started until I was like in my mid-30s and I'm about 37 now, so I'm trying to get this stuff worked out a little bit. But anyway, so this dude's back there, and I'm like, uh, uh, good morning. You know, he don't say nothing. I was like, so I kind of walk over there a little closer where he's at, and he wasn't even 100 feet. And I, and as I started walking, he's like, oh, oh good morning. And uh, I told the older dude, and I was like, I didn't, I didn't realize, realize nobody was there. And he's like, I didn't either until you started walking over. And it's kind of stood there in silence for a little bit, and I was like, man. I really don't want to give up my spot, but there's just really no way that both of us are actually going to uh, hike. Or we're going to um, hunt from this area. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll let you go ahead and take it. You know, the dude says to me, okay, that that's good and stuff. He said, I, I, I wasn't, you know, I uh, wasn't going to let you do that except that you were you were younger or something along those lines. Like, you know, okay, that sounds good since you're you're the young one or something like that. And I, it really kills me when somebody says this. It's like, dude, you humped yourself out here. You can humped yourself somewhere else too, man. It's not about old or young. I mean, I understand you're supposed to respect your elders and everything like that, but I was there first. <laughs> and I think sometimes that should be, you, 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 I don't think the elder card should be played. If somebody's in a position first and you come along, I don't think you should be bumped. Now, you know, if you were there and then I came, well, then certainly I should be bumped. But not a big deal. I went on and picked a different area, but not turkey inside. I couldn't even hear a, a gobble or nothing. So it's a big, big botched uh, type of thing. So anyways, that's what, uh, that's what took place today, and uh, it's kind of a abysmal day for me. Uh, no turkey uh, early in the morning. I didn't get much sleep last night. I was kind of excited about hunting, but I didn't even hear turkey. Um, I called a couple times, and uh, you know, trying not to overcall and hear nothing. And no fish today. Uh, no mushrooms the other day. So it's kind of a strikeout for me. But the way I look at it now, it's just got to keep showing up. But it do get frustrating. It, it makes it a big challenge to what to go back whenever you turn up with a big fat zero. So I'm supposed to go hunting again tomorrow. I took today and tomorrow off to do so. So I'm supposed to have a buddy go with me. We'll see how that goes. I usually don't believe anybody's going until they're going. Uh, because this is, you know, a lot of times I just back out and stuff. But anyways, that's all I got for today, guys. Um, all right, you guys take it easy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.